And who are you fighting with? We do have the Five of Swords, uh, we not lose, and the Four of Cups. Maybe we are fighting boredom and discontent over here. Somebody is like, oh my god, give me some excitement, please, because I'm bored and I need something new. Um, you might be fighting, maybe somebody is actually telling you, you are not paying attention, you are not seeing, and we feel like fighting. It happens, you know, not the end of the world. Five of Swords again with the Three of Wands, right? Kind of the universe saying, please wait, please take it slow, let's have expectations, come on, let's, let's fight for it, but in a different kind of fighting, right? From a different energy. Five of Swords, Two of Pentacles, I know. We are fighting to find balance, to continue working, continue to be productive, do what, whatever needs to be done, and still being conflicted. Okay, let's see what we, the guidance we receive actually, right? If we fight with ourselves right, like this, anyways. Um, Nine of Wands, Perseverance. This is also the energy of let me um, step back, rest and reconsider a situation. Nine of Wands with a Six of Swords, healing and being guarded, self-protective mode. It's interesting, such that is. Um, this is the energy of somebody having um, gone through a battle of some sort and now we are like, yeah, I'm hurt, I'm recovering, I'm healing and I am very guarded and protective of my energy and myself. Can be an energy coming um, end of August, but we'll see. So past energies on your side it can be recent past, right? The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let's have the current energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. The possible outcome on your side. The person you are dealing with. And mutual and mutual has our three or four cards. And we do have the energy of healing, alignment wish fulfillment you have two energies of healing such studies here so somebody is either in the healing business either we have healing begins and heal right kind of the universe saying baby it's healing time we've been hurt we've been forced to step back and be guarded but now it's actually kind of healing time in some way we need to actively do something about it. But let's see. So um, in the past, such studies, we do have the devil and the judgment. Uh, might have been a final decision concerning a such studies, concerning a toxic situation, uh, concerning a Capricorn, I'm sorry. Um, the devil with the judgment. Um, a final decision, right? Judgment can be a sentence, a decision, um, can be a divorce, can be a separation. Um, decisive one, right? Decisive one. Um, it's the energy where we felt that we need a new life. That's a judgment. We feel we need second chances um, at love. We feel we need to completely change direction and, um, you know, kind of shift 180 and go in the opposite direction. For some of you, it's really a decision that was needed uh, because the situation was controlling, toxic, fearful, um, abusive for some of you. And um, I mean, that is only so much pain or um, a toxic energy that somebody can accept and have and manage and deal with, right? And we said, no, thank you at some point. At least that's energy over here. Now this person of yours, um, such that is um, the Hierophant, Taurus energy and the Moon, Pisces energy. I'm not, I might be, might be Taurus energy. We have Capricorn and Taurus here. Um, might have been an earth sign, but I'm sensing more they got confused. I mean, what do you mean? You know, <laughs> what do you mean divorce? What do you mean separation? What exactly you, you want to say by that? You know, what exactly do you mean by that? So um, confrontational, um, also with the moon, um, maybe depressed, um, you know, um, kind of um, taking this um, decision of yours as, um, you know, uh, um, despair creator, you know, when uh, when they got um, afraid and scared and depressed and um, anxious about, and um, but still committed, 
right? A uh, very strong commitment on their side. It's like, you know, you have to accept that because it's a traditional kind of commitment where we don't give up and and um, and we move on. But it was a shock. That's energy I'm picking up on their side. And here you show up with a new beginning, new vitality. It's interesting, right? The minute we said, I need my judgment day, I need my second chance, I need my new life, also the passion came. For some of you, it's um, probably what um, kind of um, gave birth, right? To this separation and this judgment day, and it was the new vitality that you needed, a new beginning, having something that's um, yours, um, and a sense of fire, right, under your butt. A sense of I need, to, I need to get moving. I need to get going. I need to have my, my um, own healing and balance through a new beginning. You know, I'm done. That's energy. This is how it feels. I'm done, 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 done. And it's this energy where your whole, <coughs> sorry, um, this is the energy where your whole body and soul was longing for a new beginning and it felt and it showed such size oh isn't it interesting you show up again on your side and mutual this is so your reading um temperance and the tower at this moment no it's not a disruption but we are rebuilding that's energy that's how i feel uh step by step with a plan with moderation with um with a sense of balance a sense of compromise right meeting the other person halfway and um and simply putting brick by brick i'm pretty sure there was a mess um i mean the devil the temper the um, hierophant right we know it was um the devil was in the house so um you know so it it felt like a disaster in some way something that we want to stay away from you know and then uh, now we are rebuilding kind of confidently that this is how i feel you know um, that is a sense of surprise to it, an element of surprise. So I don't know if you've been surprised by this person with something, but that is actually um, <clears throat> the, the, that sense of. Now this person of yours, um, such ties, they have the justice and the fool, um, definitely relying on justice, karma, a, a decision, a sentence to start new hoping and longing right for this energy of balancing the scales um they might be detaching slowly um and um and trusting this new beginning but again going through major transformations just like you and look at the <clears throat> look at the mirroring you have two major arcana in the past they have two major arcana you have two right now they have two major arcana right now so major 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 transformation to different energies i mean you you show up here taking control of a form of um, out of balance energies that were thrown your way as a lesson as a journey as a bump for you to awake um to something while this person has this energy of i've been so committed with the justice i'm making sure you're gonna pay for it and my new beginning will be related to that sense of justice that I'm I'm going to take out of the situation. A little bit fearful and a little bit um, kind of revengeful, but at the end of the day, it's the fear talking through them, right? They had the energy of fear in the past and they moved uh, through this new beginning still with a sense of fear and hoping that everything will kind of balance out for them. Mutual energies, we do have the Four of Cups and the Sun. That is an opportunity that we are not seeing. For some of you, uh, we might be paying attention to Leo. If you are if you are dealing with another Sagittarius, with another Libra, Capricorn, might be a Leo somewhere involved. Um, for some of you, this is the universe sending, saying that is an opportunity of enlightenment, but both of you, you are not paying attention, right? And you know it kind of makes sense on your side you are rebuilding and recovering we have twice as the overall energy the healing of whatever devil energies you you had in the past so it kind of makes sense we are not seeing the sun um just yet and this person is very focused on getting their justice overcoming fear trusting this new beginning so it's kind of um it kind of makes sense that they don't see the sun either, right? So, 
and the sun is all about the enlightenment why this is all why all this is happening um what is the purpose for it what what is the enlightenment in it and what is the fundamental truth that kind of needed to come out for both of you and again the same mirroring right we have a major arcana is of wands we have a major arcana and a regular um card so a lot of mirroring and a lot of healing over here yeah let's see moving forward Sagittarius and now you get <laughs> you get the world and the, and the new beginning the full you get the first card of major arcana and the last one so this is so done this is all about happy endings and trusting this new beginning you are really pushed towards something um, that will open up a new world for you such that is um, this is whatever you've manifested you embraced you you called you asked for and um, it comes with homework like healing but oh my god to major arcana again such a beautiful journey such that is for you such a beautiful journey and whatever was harsh in the past we find the balance in the current moment and we trust the future beautiful <laughs> oh my god they miss you like crazy such that is this person shows up after again two major arcana two major arcana with twice the six of cups this is um reminiscent about the past communications that um you exchange this is about love this is about children this is about soulmate bond and this is also about awakening to soulmate bond and again double missing right six of cups mutual energies between the two of you nine of pentacles four of swords eight of wands again probably no communication probably just um dealing with anxiety quieting the mind staying a little bit in retreat taking the time you know um, to process is a lot of thinking in the four of swords is planning and strategizing for some of you nine of pentacles becoming single getting single both of you it's a lot of uh, thinking process you might have been through a um you know some years of marriage i'm having 13 here so some of you you might be you might be in that energy we're having 17 so it's not but uh, quite a long time and uh, the main purpose for both of you is actually to be successful and um coming out of this situation um in a very successful way on your side the journey is simply amazing on their side is um again a dance between i'm gonna make them pay but i still love them you know with the six of cups and missing and longing so i'm just saying such studies they um don't feel like giving up but they have uh, bursts of of detachment and and um justice right calling you're gonna pay for this um you're not gonna go away without you know paying your do do your dues so um yeah i know i know right um the tower in the fall it was a mess but we start new not a problem and you show up here i love this in your current energy right we, st we are staying in control and in balance and um we um embrace this ending we allow it we go with the flow you know if this is what meant what has to happen well so be it you know so um such size let's ask for some guidance let's see what we need to do here we do have true love this is the romance of a lifetime so you are really uh, for some of you having something on the back burner having something on your mind uh, being in love with somebody and feeling that you are in love well guess what this is the love of a lifetime we do have past life relationship you have known each other before so you are guided towards a love that you've had in the past oh it might be a flirt <laughs> also true love and flirt if you are flirting with somebody such that is extend your light-hearted energy uh, to others if you are flirting with somebody and you develop emotions or they have does look like you had a bond in the past with this person and also it can be a flirt can be can become true love however this resonates for you i'm kind of sensing that we just ended up something and we open up to new uh, new connections here 
for some of you this is guidance you know extend your light-hearted energy to others okay and true love might might be coming in um on the in the door you know we do have abundance i love this some of you you are guided actually oh true love and abundance i know i know it feels like new love right it starts with the flirt it goes to true love and abundance and also a sense of um, you know when they feel like home that's a past life relationship definitely somebody coming your way the distorted feminine past life relationship and distorted feminine for some of you we are we are having two energies here right something that we just ended it's a past life it's finished it's a distorted feminine we've been dealing with and we are actually guided to focus on true love abundance and that is flirted like kind of open up to new love such that is and commitment you might you might have a flirt that might become commitment here somebody is guided actually to not to take this um, relationship forward from a flirt to a commitment okay it is true love it does look like um, they might bring abundance your way you might bring abundance their way but you are guided to commit to somebody and uh, leave the past in the past such that is past life relationship and distorted feminine we just walk away right and the judgment again when it comes to energies to put back into the flow we have the judgment again and in the past we had judgment and the devil so Sagittarius, this is what you need to put back into the flow by telling yourself i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges so we don't judge we don't label we just let them go we accept them as they come we do have surrender obsessive thinking if you're obsessing about a person or situation turn the dilemma over to spirit doing so will bring you clarity or even solve the problem so no obsessive thinking over here use it use your judgment to come out of that cycle we do have relationships i am attracted to those people who serve my higher good and it makes so much sense because you do have flirt and you have commitment right so we make the difference between flirt and commitment and we are only attracted to those people who serve who serve your higher good beautiful and we have abundance again such as you are really guided to, uh, to focus on abundance and we have i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in my physical reality we put abundance back into the flow and also a sense of purpose you possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love so guided towards a new love towards um true love and commitment towards abundance and whatever past relationship with a distorted feminine you had well it has to stay in the past so such a beautiful energy such an amazing energy such that is and of course as always you know you have to let me know what you think you know i read every message i don't answer always to all of them um as always don't forget to like share and subscribe and come see me next time and please stay safe Take care. Love you. Bye.